Hi, today I'm talking about our brand new Nexus 4 DDR system board and how it fits into our Nexus line. As you can see, it's very similar to the Nexus 4, the main difference being that the cellular RAM has been replaced with 128 megabytes of DDR2. We also made some other minor improvements to the Nexus 4 design, including moving the temperature sensor further away from the FPGA in order to make it more accurate for ambient temperature readings. The rest of the features on the Nexus 4 DDR are identical to those on the Nexus 4, so I'm going to speed through listing them off. They include 5 PMODs with one configured to accept analog inputs, 16 slide switches, 16 LEDs, 6 push buttons, an 8-digit 7-segment display, 2 PWM controlled RGB LEDs, I2C temperature sensor, microphone with PDM interface, PWM controlled audio output, 12-bit VGA output, 10100 Ethernet port, USB HID port for a mouse or keyboard, dual-purpose UART and JTAG USB port, micro SD connector, 3-axis SPI accelerometer, 16 megabyte quad SPI flash. The FPGA is an Arctic 7 100T and can be configured using JTAG, a thumb drive attached to the USB HID port, a micro SD card, or the onboard quad SPI flash. The reason we redesigned the Nexus 4 is because Micron discontinued the 16 megabyte cellular RAM we've been using since we started our Nexus line. Cell RAM parts are still available, but in lower densities and without burst access support. Rather than downgrade the cell RAM in order to stick with that technology, we decided to evolve this aspect of the Nexus line and move on to DDR memory, which is much more common in the world today. Apart from giving students access to the more relevant technology, this change also allowed us to greatly increase the capabilities of the Nexus 4. There is now 128 megabytes of onboard RAM available that can be accessed at up to 1300 megabytes per second. This will be really useful for those who want to create microblaze designs, which will no longer have to limp by with slow asynchronous memory accesses. And by the way, microblaze is now free in Vivado, so we'd encourage everyone to give it a shot. Since cellular RAM is no longer available, we will be forced to discontinue the Nexus 2, Nexus 3, and Nexus 4 in the not far off future. We did a large buy of cell RAM right before it went end of life, which should keep our Nexus products available while customers are preparing for the discontinuation. Any professors using Nexus boards in their course plan should upgrade to the Nexus 4 DDR, which will be available for the foreseeable future. To make this transition easier, we've created a migration guide that describes how to properly port projects from earlier Nexus boards to the Nexus 4 DDR. This comes along with a soft FPGA core that provides an asynchronous parallel interface for the DDR, just like the one on the cell RAM. You'll be able to drop this core into projects that use cell RAM on the older Nexus boards for an easy transition to the Nexus 4 DDR. All the documentation and example projects available for the Nexus 4 have been ported to the Nexus 4 DDR to maintain the same level of support. All these materials, including the migration guide, can be found on the Nexus 4 DDR wiki page. We hope you'll give it a look and feel free to post any questions you have on our new forum. See you next time. Hey, so if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to click up there to subscribe or click down there to watch some more videos. Don't forget to check out our website, www.digilantinc.com. And thanks for watching.